Hi guys, Brad Heath here, owner of Double D Trailers and designer of the, the SafeTac and the SafeTac Reverse. So today we're going to jump right into how to find the best truck to tow your horse trailer. Uh, it's, a, it's a topic that uh, as designers on our end, we deal with on a daily basis. And nine, 99% of the time when a client reaches out to us, uh, they will almost automatically provide the information of the gross uh, towing weight. In other words, how much the vehicle can pull. But that really doesn't mean a whole lot because, um, you know, if you look at the advertisements, they show trucks, you know, pulling really, really large loads. And it sort of gives the impression, yeah, it can do that. But what they don't talk to you about is what the truck can carry. And so that's always the weak point and it's always the topic of discussion. And it's uh, almost always the information that manufacturers of tow vehicles, they just bury that stuff so that you can't find it. Okay. They are getting better about um, you know, 2021 and 22 and, and even probably later than that. So they're starting to get better about advertising that information. But prior to uh, on some of the, you know, 2020s and older, it's um, it's very challenging to try to get the info. I know Ford and GMC is doing a better job of presenting that uh, Dodge a little bit on the Rams, uh, Toyota, not so much still. So um, just something to keep in mind, but nonetheless, so the information that we're looking for, first of all, don't trust everything the dealer tells you, you know, this is, uh, uh, a true story of Kristen. She bought a 2019 F-150, you know, the dealer said, oh yeah, it'll pull it. You can absolutely do it. It'll pull, I don't know, 10 or 12,000 pounds or some ridiculous number, but what they didn't tell her or the what they didn't point out, let's just grab this highlighter for you right there. Maximum payload capacity of 1530 pounds. Now you may ask, well, what is payload? Okay. So payload, um, is what your truck can carry, not what it can pull. And so if you're looking at what you can carry, it has to include yourself as a driver any passengers, any cargo, groceries, toolbox, I don't really know, any cargo in the bed of your truck, bales of hay, generators, who knows what you're carrying, as well as trailer tongue weight. So all of those things are pressing down on the vehicle and it's what it can carry. And at a 1,530 pound payload, that's really low. So most two horse bumper pulls are gonna have a tongue weight of about 800 pounds, a warm blood version is up to about 1100. So just a two horse bumper pull um, at an 1100 pound empty tongue weight is about as much weight as you would want to put behind that particular equipped half ton truck with only a 1530 pound rating. Now, Kristen wanted to tow a gooseneck. The dealer absolutely told her that, you know, it, it certainly would. He looked at the big number and says, yeah, you can pull a gooseneck. It'll pull 12,000 pounds. Um, unfortunately, she's only able to, to carry 1500 pounds and a two horse gooseneck by itself is more than that. It's probably 15, 1600 pounds. So, uh, unfortunately she found out that she was not able to, um, tow the trailer that she had hoped to with her new tow vehicle. Okay. So, um, we do list out what we call the magic G's. I'm not going to waste your time on that for the video, but you should certainly jump into the article where we discuss gross combined vehicle weight rating. What is GVWR, GCWR, GAWR? I mean, they, they really just try to complicate things, but we break that down for you so that it's easy to follow. We even have a link to a tongue weight calculator. Uh, the 20% rule, uh, I'm not going to elaborate on that a lot, but, you know, basically some folks say, well, if your truck can, you know, haul 10,000 pounds, you should only be doing 8,000 pounds uh, max because you, you don't want to 
go over that 20, you want to leave 20% of margin. And that's really just not the case. I can tell you as uh, engineers and manufacturers at engineering companies, if they design the vehicle and they advertise that it is rated to safely haul a 2,000 pounds of uh, tongue weight and 12,000 pounds of gross weight, then that vehicle absolutely will safely haul you know, 2,000 pounds of tongue weight, 12,000 pounds of, of tow weight. So we don't have to you know, worry about doing um, any sort of 20% rule there. Okay. All right. Does it matter if my truck has manual or automatic transmission? Should I use gas or diesel? Do I need to add a tow package? Uh, important laws are covered here. Do you need special driver's license? Uh, there are special road rules for driving a horse trailer. And then we also provide some tips for you. So the main thing to remember, uh, and we have a, a nice table of contents, if you will, up at the top. But the main thing to remember is the really large number that you're going to see on uh, television and in advertisements, you know, the, nor the new Ford truck can tow 14,000 pounds or the new Chevy can tow 15, whatever the numbers are, look at the smallest number because that's the weak link in the equation. And that's the one that you'll want to find, um, particularly the tongue weight. Now, this is a 2021 GMC tow chart. And you can see they actually listed the information right on the tow chart on their website, max payload. And this is for a Sierra 1500, 2,040 pounds. So in comparison to Kristen's vehicle, we were looking at in the article, her vehicle was only about 1500 pounds. So this particular vehicle can carry, not tow, it can carry an additional 500 pounds of what Kristen's vehicle can. There's one for 2019. So all of these are about 2000 pound up to 2200. It's going to, you know, um, depend upon the engine and the transmission and, and things like that. But uh, more often what clients tend to pay attention to is this number, you know, it'll tow, it'll pull 9,100 pounds or 9,700 pounds. And, uh, really, we just want to pay attention to that one because this number has to include, remember, your trailer tongue weight, yourself as a driver, any passengers, and any cargo. You can't exceed or you should not exceed that max payload rating. Hope this was helpful and uh, we look forward to any thoughts or questions. Thanks so much.